Okay, let's continue. So these video instructional materials will uh, help you how to solve present economic problems. So the first, there are two things that you should know, which is not, which is not expressed explicitly in the module. So these are number one. You have to, I, you have to have that ability to recognize what are economic expressions, what are economic units. So these are economic units are always associated with try to recall your calculus wherein you are able to expose yourself to a measurement that is expressed in two measurements in two variables usually this is the rate okay so dy over ds could be equivalent to cubic feet per second so this is a one expression which is the volume of liquid that is passing by let's say through a tunnel okay so this expression involves two measurement so this is a parallel example for an economic expression number two unit analysis so as you see in the module there are no formula presented but then the problem is solved so how do we do it so did that is true unit analysis paano kaya yon okay so unit uh, analysis is actually can be taken in parallel with how you convert measurements say example in physics you want to convert a cubic feet to a cubic centimeter so you begin by this one second second uh, equation so to convert cubic feet to cubic centimeter you might as well first convert cubic feet to cubic inches and then to cubic centimeter or it could be straightforward if you have a right equivalent of one feet to how much or a feet is equivalent to how many centimeter but then let's try this one the way I presented the solution in these slides so I begin my solution with one cubic feet I will multiply it with the conversion factor that there are 12 inch in one feet since it is cubic the expression must also be must also be in cubic and there you are if when I multiply these two the answer would be in cubic inches so that is not yet the final answer that we are looking for so again we have to go further convert the cubic inch to cubic centimeter which is our problem so how many centimeter in one inch so we know that it is 2.54 centimeter so again express the conversion factor in terms of cube okay so and there you are uh, second equation so there will be cancellation cubic feet to cubic feet cubic inches to cubic inches and there you go the remaining units is only now cubic centimeter so your answer is 28,316.85 cubic centimeter so we solve the problem just through unit analysis I hope you get what I mean when I say unit analysis after the cancellation of units 
Yun, natira na lang si cubic centimeter. Yun yung hinahanap natin. Okay, illustrative problem number one. A manufacturer has been shipping his product, which are moderately heavy machines, mounted only on skids without complete grating. What is grating? So it is uh, a protective case. Normally it is wooden or a framework used for shipping to protect the products, the merchandise from damages or kumbaga yung kung nakakakita kayo ng paleta yun, na-expose na siguro kayo doon. Yung parang ganun. Okay. To avoid creating, he must ship in freight cars which contain only his machines. Freight cars, ito yung ang sample nito, yung mga delivery van, container van. So they, can, they contain only merchandise products, hindi tao continue. So, to do this, he must pray. <laughs> okay, the solution. So, we will first solve how much is the shipping without creating. So, without creating, shipping is exclusive to machine only and it will consider the total capacity of the freight car 42 tons for the computation of payment that is irregardless of how many machines are shipped or whether the car is completely full or not so cost of shipping without grading is equal to we are considering the economic cost of the shipment or the shipment rate which is 44 pesos and 10 centavos per 100 pounds so if the car is 42 tons we will multiply it with 42 tons but since we have to arrive at a cost a unit cost, we will convert 42 tons into pounds. So that is, we multiply the, we continue the equation by multiplying 2,200 pounds per ton. So there you are, there will be cancellation of units, ton to ton and pounds to pounds. There you are, the remaining units is peso. So that is now a cost of shipping, which is equivalent to 40,748.4 pesos. This time, with grading. So with grading, we'll only consider the weight of machine of course the machine is created there will be additional weight of the grades so let's first compute for the number of machines to be shipped so the equations consider 30 tons an average so actually 30 tons being an average expression is a statistical data that is basically based from the statement in our problem. Okay? So we need to express tons into pounds. So we multiply it by 2, 2,200 pounds over 1 ton, all over 1,200 pounds. So there is cancellation of units again. 
then you have 55 machines. Again, you need analysis. Okay, so again, since we are considering the weight of the crate, how much is the increase in weight? So 55 machines multiply by the difference in weight of the machine and the machine with weight. So that would give us 1,220 pounds per machine minus 1,200 pounds per machine which is 20 pounds multiplied by 55 will give us 1,100 pounds. Therefore, we can compute the cost of shipment with rating equivalent to cost of shipment plus the cost of rating. So, from this, you might be uh, thinking, why is it that cost of rating is included? Yes, because that is an economic cost. That is an operational cost. Kaya dapat isasama yun. Hence, the cost of shipment will be Again, 44 pesos and 50 cents per 100 pounds. That is the shipping rate with rating. Then 30 tons, the average weight ship in a year. We will convert it into pounds. So that cancel out tons to tons. And then we plus the one 1100 pounds which is the increase in weight hence we get the total cost of shipment to be 29,859 pesos and 50 centavos Now we compute for the cost of rating, which is 155 pesos per machine times 55 machines, that is 8,525 pesos. And then the total cost of shipment with rating will be the total of 29,859 and 50 cents plus the cost of rating 8,525 pesos equal to 38,384 and 50 centavos. Now, comparing the cost of the two shipment method, this one without grating and this one with grating. So, our answer, shipping without grating is cheaper by 2,363 and 90 centavos. Problem number two. So a cement grinding mill, A, with a capacity of 50 tons per hour, utilizes forged grinding, forged steel grinding balls, costing 120,000 per ton. So yung grinding mill, pandurog ng bato. Yung port steel grinding balls, yan yung mga ngipin. Kumbaga. Okay? Sineset up yan. Which have a wear rate of 100 grams per ton cement mill. Another cement mill be of the same capacity uses high chrome steel grinding balls costing 500,000 per ton with a wear rate of 20 grams per ton cement mill. Determine the more economical grinding mill considering other factors to be the same. Okay, the solution. 
So, cement grinding mill A has a capacity of 50 tons per hour. And the cost is 120,000 per ton. Now, the wear rate. The wear rate is 100 gram per ton cement mill. And since our given above is 50 tons, the cost is 120,000 per ton. So it is best to convert this wear rate into ton. So we multiply 100 gram per ton by this conversion factor 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1000 gram. So gram to gram cancels out. But then we need to make further conversion of kilogram to ton. So we multiply it by 1 ton is equivalent to 1000 kilogram. There you are. We can cancel kilogram to kilogram. So the unit left is point zero zero one ton cement mill. Now, what is the cost of grinding per hour? So, we could solve it by the wear rate times the capacity and times the cost. So, this is the wear rate, 0 0.001 ton per cement mill. The capacity is 50 tons per hour. And the, the cost of grinding is 120,000 per ton which is equivalent to 600 pesos per hour. For cement grinding will be, so we will consider the same given. We have the capacity of 50 tons per hour. The cost is 0.5 million per ton. So the wear rate, 20 gram, will be converted into ton that is 0 0.0002 ton per cement mill. So the cost of grinding per hour would be 0 0.0002 ton cement mill times 50 tons per hour times 500,000 per ton. That would give us 500 pesos per hour. So we arrive at the conclusion that mill B is more economical because it has a lower production cost per hour than mill So with that, we will have our first quiz next week. So the schedule will follow your day and time schedule. Coverage, solving present economic problems. God bless.